This is our Cubic Mini wood stove. It's the Grizzly model, so it's the slightly bigger one. And we have this installed in our 192 square foot tiny house on wheels. We got the oven attachment that goes on top of the wood stove so that we could use it for cooking. And today we were feeling confident enough to actually try it out and see what we could make. It's really cold today. It's like in the 20s, so we got up and started a fire first thing. I think it's the first time we've ever done that, right? First thing in the morning. Yeah, yeah. first thing, because yeah, it like was- Like having to really get it going. It was cold, and we wanted to see how quick we could get the house temperature up without turning on any of the electric heaters, and it's doing a good job. And then we put some sweet potatoes on the oven on the top there, and it's doing a pretty good job keeping it, it's like, what, 300 degrees? 400. 400? Yeah, okay. Back up. Oh, because the lid was just off. Yeah. So it's heating the house, it's cooking our lunch, and then we just did a little laundry and hung that up, so it is also drying the clothes on the rack, so... And drying the fire starter. <laughs> and drying out our lemon fire starters. It's uh, pretty good. You're not going to get that kind of multifunction from just regular electric heat or propane heat, so... I'll cut some, chop some wood up today. Um, we already have like the cord and it's already in quarters or whatever, but it's already split, but I just got to chop it up to uh, fit in here. It's not that big of a deal. Electric chainsaw, it'll do the job, so. Just a little, little extra chore. And I get yeah. like how some people don't like having another thing to do, but as chores go, I feel like chopping wood's kind of not the worst thing ever. Go it's a little cold today for it, but it's not bad. Go outside for an hour and fill up the, the bin back up. So. Yeah. Redford enjoys it. Yeah. He steals all the new pieces of wood. In it too. Yeah, it's sizzling. It doesn't take long to get up the heat. And there's multiple ways to control the heat inside, but if you really want it to hot, get hot, just close these little vents on either side. That's the temperature control. Yeah, yeah. that one's closed. But. A little bit of an art, because then you gotta control the fire, you gotta control the whole, you know, the vents, and then uh, if it gets really hot, you can just take this off for a minute, let it kill the heat, let the heat off, and then just put it back on. You do have to keep an eye on it yeah. a little bit more, but again, I mean, our house is so We're small, We're like literally next to it all the time, so it's not a big deal, we can hear it, keep an eye on it. The fire's pretty hot right now. Yeah, and I got it choked, so. Yeah. 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 We'll see how they taste compared to uh, potatoes that we cook in the oven. In the summer we go to the local farm. We have a CSA, a community supported agriculture group we belong to. But in the winter we can't really get as much fresh stuff. So one of the things that I started doing is uh, microgreens or sprouts. These are the ones that I just started. They're just alfalfa seeds on a wet paper towel and then I leave them in the windowsill. These are, I think these were chia seeds actually, and we just cut that half for lunch. We did chicken tacos and put sprouts on the top. Pat is outside cutting wood for the wood stove. And then I've got my plants there. I really like having the plants, especially now that we have the wood stove. I'm not so concerned about humidity inside and they really help with just the air quality with making better oxygen. And then this side, these are flax sprouts. They take a little bit longer to grow, and you can see they're not quite as even as the other ones, but uh, they're pretty good too. And then this one is going to be, I'm trying to grow spinach inside. We'll see if that one is successful, because that would be really nice to have little spinach microgreens throughout the winter. Then one of the other things that I started doing are sprouts. So these are just green lentils, maybe like a handful. I don't do a lot at a time soaking in water. I just put them in there so those will stay overnight and then I'll drain the water tomorrow and then they'll sit on the counter for like two days and then there'll be sprouts that we'll throw on top of our salads and things. And we did sweet potatoes this morning on the stove and right now we have chicken drumsticks in there and then I think after that we're going to do some roasted garlic.
You want to go out? You can't go outside right now. You gotta wait. I know. I know. While the chicken was cooking, I prepped the garlic to start roasting that. You chop off the top of the garlic to open up all the bulbs, and then you're going to peel off as much of the outer paper covering as you can get. When you get the outer paper off of the garlic, you're going to take them and arrange them onto a baking rack, and then drizzle the bulbs with olive oil so that they're coated on top. The chicken was done roasting, so I took the sheet with the garlic on it and put that into the oven for about 40 or 45 minutes until it's nice and golden. Now that the garlic is all roasted, if if it cooked well, sometimes they'll just pop right out of the uh, paper kind of thing surrounding them. They'll come out as a an individual bulb. And then you can save these for just like a regular cooking ingredient. The roasted garlic is a little bit more kind of mild flavor than uh, fresh garlic, which is really nice with I'm gonna make that spaghetti squash in a little bit and uh, throw in some of the roasted garlic. But it also makes the house smell really nice when it's cooking. And you can do a whole bunch of them at one time and then save them for a little while, so that's convenient. I love cooking spaghetti squash. It's a really great healthy alternative to eating traditional pasta and you can cook it essentially the same way or fix it up the same way with tomato sauce, but cutting it when you're getting ready to cook it is the hardest part. just getting up to about 400 degrees so it's perfect. I cleaned out the seeds in the spaghetti squash and I'm going to save them to roast when this is done and I put the half of the spaghetti squash in the same pan that I roasted the garlic in because that'll be some nice flavor. I just put a little bit of water in there so it's going to get steamed. One of the not so great things about the oven is it's kind of small. So if I was cooking this spaghetti squash in our regular oven, I would put both halves in at the same time and then they would all be done. And I, I would usually even put the seeds in all at the same time so that they would get roasted and both halves would be done. But it's really not a big deal because we would have the wood stove on anyway to heat the house. So to cook the first half, that's the one I'm gonna use for dinner tonight anyway. Once that's done, I'll prep the rest of dinner and then I'll throw the other half on because the wood stove will still be on. And then after that, I'll throw the seeds on. So it's just a little bit more watching and paying attention, but you have to watch the wood stove anyway. I have to keep checking the gauge to make sure that it's in the best temperature zone and I have to check it and see if it needs more wood or anything like that. So it's all kind of part of the same process. So it's not really that big of a deal. Just a little bit more work. There's the spaghetti squash and there are the seeds that I got out of there and cleaned. I'm going to dust them with a little bit of cayenne pepper and a little bit of cinnamon and then I'll put them in the oven probably for about 
maybe like 15 or 20 minutes depending on how hot the oven is. Directly across from the wood stove in the tiny house, we installed this clothes drying rack, which is very helpful. You can pull it out and expand it to hang a full load of laundry on there to dry. And we put this in very shortly after we moved into the tiny house in 2016, but it took us until 2020 to actually get the wood stove installed. So now that we do have the wood stove, it's such a nice option to hang up our clothes instead of having to run the dryer for a long time because that can be another thing that uses up a lot of electricity in our house. So between not having to heat with electricity and not having to run the dryer as much, the wood stove is quite helpful. Then the spaghetti squash was done roasting in the Cubic Mini's oven and you use a fork to strip out all of the individual strands of the spaghetti squash and then I just put it in a dish just like you would with spaghetti. I put some sauce on top of it and then we made some meatballs to go on top of that. So really is a, a great alternative to spaghetti. Not quite the same texture but definitely a lot more nutritional value in something like this. While I was getting the rest of dinner prepped Pat was keeping an eye on the wood stove to make sure that it stayed in that good zone of not too hot, not too cold, because the next thing that we were getting ready to put in the oven was our dessert. We had a bunch of overly ripe bananas and I figured it was probably time to try something just a little trickier. So I made some banana bread and we decided to try that on the wood stove. I feel like baking is probably a little bit trickier than cooking potatoes or cooking a squash and uh, I was really pleasantly surprised with how well this came out and how good we have gotten at regulating the temperature on the wood stove. Really just a little bit of practice and now we're able to cook all sorts of things and we haven't really burned anything yet so uh, that's pretty good. Justice, the next president to be. The news and watch here your career. It's time for you to face those fears, and it's all fair to be aware and I'll be there. So don't be scared. Just take a deep breath of air. And one, two, three to ten, you begin to focus again. And no time flies. We have enough to realize. Bigger than the both of us. 